about the bench. Um, Steffi and I both filmed our routine and I'm trying a bit of different types uh, of preparing for the bench, my setup, my uh, arch and I'm showing you how I transform my bench from just laying on the bench flat and pressing the bar away to how I uh, bench nowadays preparing for my powerlift meet. And also Steffi is preparing for the same meet so she's gonna show you her routine, how she warms up, her preferences and she has a different way of, uh, of benching and arching and setting up so it's really interesting in our opinion to uh, talk about. We really hope you can learn a little bit from this and otherwise just enjoy this video and uh, I just wanted to say that we bench and we arch this way because we are training for power lift and it's not necessarily the way you should arch. Uh, this is what feels comfortable for me and for Steffi and if it would hurt or anything we would definitely not do it and it's not worth um, your back in our opinion. So anyways this is what we like to do and not saying you should but we like it this way. Enjoy this video! So here's the little clip from where Sana taught us for the first time how she uh, benched her arch, she's teaching us for the power lift way and here she speaks about the steps she does and explaining to us and after the clip I'll just show you what we did and I tried to explain while doing it for the first time <laughs> it was pretty challenging I think Steffi did it better Translate what you need to do Okay, so you, I put my toes on the front the uh, so, on the floor, thanks. <laughs> but then you can't flatten that out anymore. So you have to start with your feet flat and hold the bar. And you arch. Yeah, so you have to do more lift and you move the bar. Then you hold the bar. And then you hold the bar. Okay, very flat. And then you go. And you hold the bar. So you have to sit here and then you go. Yeah. 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 Good. I started off just laying on the on the bench and like you see just my normal arch. I can fit my hand underneath it, but that's all it is. And um, I thought it would be funny to look back and see how that felt. And I'm gonna do one rep or maybe two, I don't remember, but it just felt really weird and unnatural to do it like that. It was hard and you see my shoulders aren't that much in the bench neither. And after that I thought I'd try like what I did next, just are trying to press my shoulders into the bench. And already it made a little bit of a difference. Um, I wasn't using my feet yet to push, to drive with my legs. Um, but already the arch a little bit back helped me use my shoulders less and use my ch chest and my lats more. Um, after that, I'm pointing to my feet now. <laughs> I thought I'd show how I try to use my feet more. So now this is the way how Sonne taught me. Uh, Sonne taught me to um, embrace your feet, grab the bar and move a bit upward, then Stand up, holding everything tight, benching your back, placing your uh, your back, your upper back into the bench, with your shoulders firm, get your butt on the bench, and already you feel the tension, and this just presses the best way ever. And as last bit, I just found out I really like the belt, doing exactly the same thing like Sana told me, with the belt, and I really think this is the way for me to um, get higher numbers on the bench. So this is really the powerlifting way, I think this is the best for bodybuilding, but the same thing with the belt, really felt the best and finished my session off with this. And I really liked it, so I think I'm gonna use the belt more often. And do a little bit here, and you can see the difference in my 
uh, in my back and in my shoulders mostly. I'm pressing my shoulders into the bench. And I was using my shoulders more. I got soreness from my shoulders before and now I feel my lats mostly. When I do my bench press, I really like to start with the arc right from the first setup. So also when I only press the bar to warm up. Because I feel that when I start, my lower back is usually a little tight and a little stiff. That's because I usually go to my workouts right after work. So if I start with the arc while, warm it, while my warm-up sets, then I'm usually fine and can arc the whole way once I get to the heavier sets. And the way I like to set up my arc is by first lying on the bench with my feet on the bench as well. And then I grip the bar at the width which I prefer. And then I push up my hips the whole way so that my shoulders are off the bench as well. And then I engage my lats so that I can really feel them squeezing together and put the top of my lats or even my delts onto the bench. So today is bench day and I'm starting with my warm up. I always start up warming up with an empty bar, setting up just exactly the same way as I would with weight on it. Grip, place my feet on the ground, then I grab the bar, stand up, arch my back, place my shoulders down, and set my feet on the ground. And then I'm ready to do some reps, about 8 or 12 until I'm warmed up. A little focusing on the slow movement, pressing up, and just getting used to the movement. I'm not arching that long, but it becomes more and more natural each time. And Usually I start with an empty bar, especially when I'm cold like this or sore, and then I throw on five kilogram on each side. Um, so you could also start with five, but my max is around, mm, maybe one rep would be around 60, so it's not that high. And with the weight, it goes up really fast with five kilogram empty bars, 20 kilograms. So you see me putting on my first, my second warm-up weight, and just like that, getting back again on the bench, arching like I would normally, and doing some reps. And then I put my butt on the bench, step the feet off, off of it, and go a little bit back with the floor. I try to keep my heels on the ground all the time, but I also try to have mm -hmm. as much tension as my whole body as I possibly have. So I try to squeeze my glutes and my legs and my lats and basically everything is that I have the most tension to move as heavy weight. I tried out different grip width in my bench. I used to grip a little bit wider because that's just what the gym friend told me to do when I started out bench pressing. But at, in the end I am now gripping a bit narrower. So it's not shoulder width but a little bit more but it's also not super wide. And I have the impression that I'm much stronger that way because I can engage my triceps a lot more than when I was gripping wider, then it was basically only my um, my chest and my lats, but I couldn't use my triceps as much. <laughs> and here I'm over to my working sets. It's 40 kilograms this time because I'm not uh, really having bench on my program today, but. Nonetheless, I'm working them to make this video, so I'm keeping my weight slow. So what I'm doing here, I'm playing around a bit with different move. I'm gonna show you my four sets of 10 reps, which um, I'm gonna do some different things. This is just my normal way I, I'm doing them. I'm gonna show you different setups and um, I'm gonna show you how I did the first time wearing a belt. I'm not leaving it rest for a little, I did it on another day, then I practiced with two seconds leaving it on my chest and then pushing it back up. Then you just get used to the movement, especially for 
uh, doing competitions, you have to practice because you have to lay it down on your chest until they say you can re-rack your weights again. I also tried arcing the way that Zanne did with uh, your feet on the ground at the beginning and then arcing the whole way up and putting your back on the bench. But so far that didn't work as well for me as the way I described before, so I, I think I'm just going to stick to my way. And we practiced with the arching the first time Sanna was here. And um, this is how I, uh, she teach me. I was just laying flat on the bench and pressing and I did try to arch a little. But actually since she was here telling me how to bench and grabbing the bar, standing up, then placing your head down with your feet flat on the ground, that really helped me to press a lot of weight more. When I do heavy bench press, I try to always have a spotter with me because then I can really squeeze and try out the higher weights and also like one more rep. Um, and just it just feels a lot more secure if someone is there to help you. But I, I feel you also need to have a good spotter. Like some people basically rip the bar away before you even really had to struggle because they just see you stop a little bit and then they already help you although you didn't need that already so they're basically stealing your rep um, but if you have some people which spotted you a couple of times and know how you prefer it then it's really really good to have one um, sometimes it ends up that I have to do heavy bench presses without a spotter and then I basically do the roll of shame if I fail. So I just put the bar onto my chest and then roll it down to my legs and then get up and basically put it down. And for us females, which are not bench pressing 100 kilograms or above, that's usually fine because it won't do any damage to your body if you just put on 50 kilograms onto your chest. Then I thought I'd wear my belt for the first time and I didn't expect it to do a lot and make a lot of difference, but actually it did. I felt so much more tight, I could really press my abs against it and feel the tension more and even with the leg drive and everything else it just really fit together and made all the difference. I think my reps went easier and I could set more force and maybe it's just something in my mind but I really like the feeling and I think I'm gonna try it more. But only on my high reps or not my high reps on my high weight reps because I don't think it's necessary to do it otherwise but for really the last reps that are hard with heavy weights I think it could make a difference for me no our video is over again already but we really hope you liked it and you could learn a little bit from it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you have more questions, please comment them down below and we'll try to answer them. And also don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss our next video next week. And if you want to watch more now, just look at our old videos because they're pretty good as well. And we'll see you in our next video. Bye bye.